His Lordship, the Bishop of the Diocese of Boya, Reverend Fathers, the religious, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on behalf of the entire laity of the Diocese of Boya, I want to welcome all who have turned out today with smiling faces for this special thanksgiving for the realization of various aspects of the co-cathedral. It will be good for us to recall that when the bishop was appointed as the apostolic administrator and the fifth residential bishop on the 5th of January 2021 for the Diocese of Boya, one good initiative he met, which unfortunately had gone into a very deep slumber, was this co cathedral. Today, we have come in thanksgiving to thank God for the bishop's unwavering vision and working very closely with the lay faithful in the realization of this giant structure. Today, we are all witnesses of not only the completion of the roofing, but we are also witnessing the realization of other aspects of this structure. Tiling of the outer walls and tiling of the floor. The installation of aluminum plastic glass window, plastering of the inner walls, the fitting of balconies. Indeed, it is an occasion to say, thank you, Lord. No accidents in the course of this project. We say, thank you, Lord. Our money was not mismanaged. We say, thank you, Lord. In the spirit of synodality, the laity often rallies around their bishop in the realization of what we have come to celebrate today. We should bear in mind that our journey together in project is not only limited with this co-cathedral project. The Bishop Our Pastoral Memorial Center, a multi-complex center to, accom to accommodate Christians during pastoral activities is a masterpiece. Take a look at the facelift of our institutions, Cube, with two twin giant story buildings. The rented campus in Douala has been acquired as a diocesan property. St. Anne's Girls College in Limbe, St. Joseph College, Sase, Bishop Rogan Minor Seminary, St. Pius X Comprehensive and Technical College, Middle Farm, have all undergone serious transformation. At the primary level, there are three visible modern structure schools erected one at Limbe, St. Philomena's Nursery and Primary School. In Tico, there are two St. Augustine Nursery and Primary School at Boma Street and St. Leticia Catholic School. The opening of the microfinance repartfin is not left out. My dear good people of God, we are talking of three years 
results, they often say, happens over time, not overnight. In our case, the statement has been proven wrong because as has happened overnight. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, supporting the church is a very important Christian responsibility. And as the Diocesan Pastoral Chairperson, permit me say, the lay faithful is carrying out their assignments very well. I'm most humbled to honestly ex express our sincere gratitude to His Lordship, Michael Bibi, who is so concerned about the progress of this diocese. My Lord, we salute your courage and resilience. We equally appreciate how you put into use the limited resources placed at your disposal. Financial personnel call it transparency and accountability, but we simply call it concern. Building of a, building of a co cathedral can never and will never be easy. And of course, we don't grow when things are easy. We grow when we face challenges. For those of us who are blessed to see and participate in the building of a church, let alone a cathedral of this nature, it is a rare privilege which we should not take for granted. Shortly, the benches of the co-cathedral will be launched. And the appeal is that we should all come out happily in songs and dancing to launch these benches. We cannot give up at this point when we are very close to the finish line or the winning line. The roofing of this coal cathedral has been a happy realization. And so, I would like you all to join me in singing this wonderful song. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Fire, help. The world that he gave us, he saw. 